Okay, hi guys, <coughs> and welcome back as we do Unit 7E. Um, our theme for today is still technology, looking at the different aspects of technology and how they impact our lives. Um, that's our theme for today, and our lesson that we are going to do is Unit 7F. All right, and our title for today is IT, and IT being the abbreviated version of information technology. So if you open your books, what can you see? That's my famous question. And we have the title as well, using a computer network. What is a computer network? Well, in simple terms, if you guys have eight pieces linked up in a building and you have different floors and all of these pieces are connected to each other you have what we call a computer network now when we talk about a computer network they do not necessarily have to be in the same building they can be on uh, they can be at different locations in different buildings but they can still form part of a network all right so a computer network are not is not restricted to a specific location such as one building because it can span over different buildings and even different cities so looking at our example we see uh, someone sitting behind a pc um, and we see lots of pcs Let's go on to our first slide. Right, and the question that's been asked is, what do you use a computer for? Tell your partner. Obviously, you guys cannot tell your partner, but what I would suggest is, if you guys can have a video call or Skype with one of your partners, or even have someone at home that you can practice with, you can ask the question, what do you com use your computer for? Now, some of you do not have a computer as yet. You can just think of what is teacher using the computer for today in our lesson. Well, it, the simple answer to that is to educate and to teach. All right, so the different functions of a computer is to scan pictures using a scanner, to chat online. You can use your phone as well. Remember that your phone plays a similar function or role as a mini computer. You can type documents or print documents using a printer or Microsoft Word documents. You can play games, download music, send emails and even do research. Now, I think the one that is quite familiar with you guys is playing games because what I've noticed at is that you guys like to play different types of games such as PUBG um, and the works. All right, so what do you use your computer for? I use my computer to scan pictures, to type and print documents. I use my computer to chat online and download music. Obviously, you need to have a Wi-Fi connection to make this possible. I use my computer to play games and send emails. And I use my computer to do research. Right, so if you have um, computers as a subject, you will notice that your teacher gives you some homework to do. Sometimes it involves looking up certain words. Sometimes it involves you actually going and doing some research for a science project, which is quite familiar. Our libraries nowadays are equipped with uh, computers for our benefit right moving on to our next slide look at the diagram in the text what is a computer network read the first sentence in the text and check here we have a diagram we have a laptop as you guys can notice we have a pc a computer with a desktop Right, we have what seems to be, uh, look like a briefcase, a scanner, and this symbol here sit, uh, represents the World Wide Web, the internet as you guys may know it. 
all right so networks are groups of computers so a network uh, can consist of two computers events but up to an unlimited amount of computers software and hardware that are all connected to help the users work together so what's the main function or purpose of a computer network they are connected to help the users work together right so what is a computer network a group of computers that are all connected okay that's the com key word so looking at IT and using a computer network as you'll see one two three four five right or one two three four those computers are linked together and they can communicate with each other all right moving on to our next slide okay check the words and phrases in the word list so here we have a couple of words to consider number one software what is software if I can put this to you in simple terms before giving you the definition if you take your PC whatever you see on it is software you cannot operate a um, cell phone or your iPad or laptop without software so what you see on the screen that is the software okay these are your computer programs right cabling systems when we talk about cabling systems these are the physical systems that you can see these are the physical systems that you can touch so what's the cabling systems well cables connected to computers to one another making a network so the one computer is connected to the computer next to it all right passwords these are things that you cannot touch physically however you can use it to your advantage to secure your information to protect your information all right secret word or phrase all right what's hardware once again hardware the things that you can touch software the things you cannot touch so if you look at hardware and your desktop if you can touch your screen your printer um, anything that's connected additionally to your computer even this mouse that I'm using that forms part of the hardware right so what is hardware the electronic parts of a computer hardware things that you can touch all right computer viruses these are the bad ones the ones that we um, that are sent to us to in to, to disrupt our computer files to steal information and sometimes we are not aware of it so what is a computer virus that's simply a program that destroys the data stored in a system all right so we have different types of viruses and malicious software some of them called trojan horses and the likes of it data what is data that is information um, obviously if you cannot use the data in a constructive way then it does not fall under information so if you can interpret the data then that is what is known as information data if you have lots of numbers and symbols and you cannot make out anything that is on the screen well then you have data because you cannot use it but once you can interpret the numbers on the screen and once you can make sense of the numbers then it becomes information right so don't confuse the two all right share files and resources share files to use some written records at the same time as others what do we um, mean when we talk about share files if you have a Microsoft Word document you can share that document with another user so that is what is meant to um, as share files resources things that can be used to help when needed anything on your PC that you can find that helps you on your task usually you are given resources uh, information once again if you cannot use the information 
it forms part of data and it cannot be used as a resource all right so we have an interesting article to read and i will play the audio so that we can listen to our article Using a computer network. Networks are groups of computers, software, and hardware that are all connected to help the users work together. They are specially made for use in businesses, schools and colleges, internet cafes, and libraries. A network connects computers by using cabling systems, special software, and devices that handle the flow of data. A network allows users to share files and resources, such as printers, as well as send emails to each other. So, as with any other shared resource, it is important to be responsible and think about other users. There are a number of things to keep in mind when using a computer network, such as Do not share computer passwords. Do not overuse resources such as online connection time or printers. Do not use it for anything illegal, unethical, or dishonest, e.g. bullying other students or damaging equipment. Do not copy other people's work either other students or online information. This is called plagiarism and has serious consequences especially concerning copyrighted material. Remember information on the internet may not always be copyrighted, but it is there to give you facts and ideas for your own writing. Do not install any software without permission. Be aware of computer viruses and try to protect the network from them by following security procedures. And that concludes our reading and listening part. Quite an interesting article on computer networks and cables, as you guys have noticed. So we can go on to our next slide. Right, now say how they are related to a computer network. So here we have software number one. So how is software related? Well, software are computer programs which users of a network can share all right number two we have our cabling systems and a computer network uses cabling system to connect computers very important the different type of cables that are used passwords people using a computer network should use passwords to access their files very important Hardware, how does hardware form part? Well, hardware um, is the drivers and devices that allow computers to be connected to other computers in a network. Just remember that hardware are the things that you can see and touch and the software are the things that you cannot touch. All right, computer viruses could be spread from one computer to the next in a network if the users do not take a appropriate security measures obviously when you are on a network you set up an anti-virus software system for you that protects you against viruses all right data what does data have to do with a computer network it's the information which is exchanged in a computer network all right and we talk about sharing files and resources people can share files and resources among many users in a computer 
network. And then lastly, plagiarism, right? Copying of other people's work is plagiarism and this sometimes happen in a computer network. All right, so plagiarism, as you guys will get to know this term later on when you guys go to university, but the simple term for plagiarism is do not use someone else's words or do not use someone else's information without referencing where you got this information from. Okay, so some of the words I want to go over here is copyrighted. Uh, copyrighted simple me simply means that if you have uh, information, for example, a book that you wrote, it means that someone else cannot use the information in a book that you wrote simply without stating where they got the information from. And if they do, well, that would be plagiarism and that has serious legal consequences. All right, moving on to our next slide. Okay, read the text, complete the sentences. Right, you shouldn't share computer passwords because why should we not share computer passwords? Because people will have access to your personal information. All right, we shouldn't overuse online connections. Why not? Well, it could prevent other users from being able to print or use their connection. Obviously, if your system has um, supercomputers or advanced technology, you are able to um, use this information as connected. All right, copying other people's work must be avoided. And why? Because it is plagiarism and there could be serious consequences all right it could have illegal consequences attached to them all right if we are on the lookout for computer viruses then what should we do we will be able to keep our computer network safe once again the use of antivirus systems is a good way to start to keep your computer free of viruses all right we can move on to our next slide Explain the words in bold. A network connects computers. Connects simply means that the one computer are able to talk to the next. If you plug in your charger into the charging port, it is connected, so now it can charge. All right, a device, next word, computer, cabling systems, special software and devices that can handle the flow of data. When we talk about a device, it is something that is attached to the computer that helps the computer. Right, when we talk about a resource, it is something that you can use to your benefit, all right? Or it is something that you can share to another, pers to another person, such as a file. All right, keep in mind, and all this means is there are a number of things to consider when using a computer network okay there's a number of things to keep in mind don't overuse resources such as online connection time or printers some computers are very limited because of the hardware and because of the service the service and when i'm talking about service i'm not talking about service s-e-r-v-i-c-e I'm talking about servers, S-E-R-V-E-R-S, -E -E and those are the brains that control the computer network. Just like our body has a brain and a heart, so the whole computer network functions similar to the human body. So don't overuse, which only means that some of these networks are not able to handle a lot of computer data and information at the same time. Okay, do not overuse it for it is illegal, unethical, or dishonest. Okay, illegally meaning it is not permitted by law. Unethical, it's not the right thing to do. Bullying other students or damaging equipment. You guys are familiar with bullying. All right, consequences. Plagiarism has serious consequences. It has serious effects, which simply means that if you plagiarize, they can sue you 
and events you can have a penalty that you need to pay all right copyrighted as i have explained some of the works that authors when they write um, books we sometimes use the information of these authors now the this information is copyrighted which means it is protected and you need to have permission to use this information right do not install uh, simple terms uh, in simple terms it is if you do not have a writing surface on your network you can install for example Microsoft Word or Microsoft Office which gives you Microsoft Word PowerPoint and Excel these are the systems that you can use to make your life much more simpler so you can install them you can load them which is another word and then security procedures is the last word be aware of computer viruses and try to protect the network from them by following security procedures and all that this means um, when we talk about security procedures is these are the points that you need to do all right moving on to our next slide okay word formation form words or form verbs from the following nouns or adjective we use eyes to form verbs from nouns okay so what is the noun computer is a noun and what verb can we form computer rise so when someone tells you to computerize something they are simply saying make this thing technolo technologically able all right apology is the noun and to form verb becomes apologize all right legal is the noun if we had to make this a verb we will say legalize fantasy would become fantasize memory becomes memorize all right moving on to our next slide okay choose the correct particle so for example phrasal verbs and the example between parentheses is make check the word list our first example don't believe him he has made up the whole story all right second word she took her bag and made for the door all right i can't make out what he has written the next one they never made up after their fight so number five water is made up of hydrogen and oxygen so these are the correct particles for the words in our sentences moving along right so what are the do's and don'ts of using a computer network obviously you guys can share this with your friends so what are the do's and don'ts and there we see all of our do's and don'ts one of the important do's is do not share computer networks um, and the don'ts do not copy other people's work very important all right moving on and that is the last slide and i think that we can move on to our workbook okay moving on to our workbook and our title is netty kit and all that this means is this is broken down into net and etiquette all right if you guys can see net which means the internet and etiquette which refers to a moral standing to choose the right thing and to choose to do the right thing okay with the development of technology okay where are we of technology and everyone using computers and the internet on a daily basis you want to make sure that you want what you send is well received this is where netiquette and looking at our answers 
for number two is enters. All right, in. Netiquette is a set of rules for behaving properly online. All right, just and number two would be a like when you visit a new country and must follow number three see their rules the same applies for cyberspace in order not to offend or be offended by people you're interacting with online you must what must you do follow cyberspace rules right when the internet was first created it was mostly used by educational and research departments right so number five would be D at that time the number of users was very low the original users of the internet were very ethical and the correct word for number six is C set up in a system of rules and emailing and discussion groups the purpose of these rules was to keep some order and respect while communicating with others over the net. Okay, as the internet becomes more and more popular, it is important to keep these guidelines in mind. Remember that although netiquette might first appear to be a set of rules, in reality it is a set of recommendations. Here are some of the recommendations. Do not write in uppercase only as it might. And number eight is give the impression that you're shouting. Do not send abusive messages if you want to send a big file as the recipient first. If you're in a hurry, you can. And number nine is still be polite by using abbreviations such as WBS for write back soon. For example, whether you are sending an email for personal or work related reasons, it is important to always remember cautious. Right, remember that the internet is a public forum and that you never know who will read your messages. Before sending something, ask yourself how could I feel if how would I feel if I received this message right those are the answers for reading number one if we move on to number two fill in up for or out she got up quickly and made for the door they finally made up a week after the huge argument a robot is made up of many components I heard them talking but I couldn't make out what they were saying and it's unkind to make up stories about your brother right, those are the answers for the vocabulary moving on to number three match the words to form phrases use some to complete the sentences below on your left one to five we have five words and let's fill in the correct answer number one is to share files number two is to send emails number three talks about computer viruses number four talks about online connection and number five talk about cabling system so one to five would be one C, two A, three B, four E, and five D. All right, and moving on to our last one, you should install a program that protects against computer viruses. We're using the same words above. I can't complete my research on the internet because we're having trouble with our online connection all right it's easier to send emails than write letters number four 
A cabling system helps to connect a network of computers. And number five, when you share files with your friends, make sure that they've been scanned for viruses. All right, and now I will display the answers for you. Right, and this is the answers. Make sure that it is the same in your book and make the necessary corrections. And from my behalf, thank you for listening and thank you for today's lesson. And goodbye.